Hi, this is Madeline from Ingredients for You Digital Marketing Team. Today I'll be sharing with you a little bit about the Vitamin K2 and its market analysis. Without further ado, let's get started. Usually we mentioned Vitamin K2, MK4, and MK7 are the most discussed, which present 4 and 7 isoprenoid units respectively. MK7 is characterized by extensive functions, strong activity, long half-life, and safety with vitamin K2. As an active form of vitamin K2, MK7 can actively promote positive bone health and maintenance, as well as cardiovascular health. So, in what cases should we take vitamin K2? First, excessive calcium absorption, which could be caused by a lot of reasons, including overactive parathyroid glands, supplements, cancer, medication, etc. puts one's body health under certain risks. Excessive calcium absorption can pose a very serious risk to the bone, cardiovascular, brain, kidney, liver, and other cell tissues and organs. These imbalances also can cause calcium to deposit in the blood vessels and contribute to vascular calcification or heart disease. Here we can see that vitamin K2 plays a role to help carry the calcium into bones in which case decreases the calcium contained in the blood or attached on the blood vessel walls. Vitamin K2 is combined with UCOC or UCMGP and becomes COC or CMGP respectively, which traps and binds calcium into bones. Once the calcium contained in the blood and attached on the vessel walls are decreased, the risk of having cardiovascular and heart disease decreases accordingly. Next, let's talk about the Vitamin K2 future market analysis. Basically, accelerating at a compound average growth rate of 8.92%, the global Vitamin K2 market expected to grow by $92.34 million during the forecast period. And there are a few top players in the market that are worth being mentioned in this image. Here we have some trendy general uses of Vitamin K2. Well, for vitamin K2, it will mostly be seen in the food and beverage industry. Generally, the global functional food and beverage market has been steadily growing in recent years, and manufacturers have become more innovative with the ingredients they include to bring benefit to consumers. Moreover, the most active categories within recent food and drink launches that contain vitamin K2 are dietary and vitamin supplements which account for the majority of new product launches globally, which are followed by baby formula, beverage mixes, flavored milk, and soy-based drinks. Those grow in focus on functional foods and supplements owing to health concerns is projected to boost the global market over the forecast timeline. While many consumers actively turn to supplements and functional food and beverages to support bone health, tremendous opportunity exists for launches in the market. The 2022 Consumer Survey on Dietary Supplements indicated that 21% of supplement users reported taking dietary supplements to support bone health. Other areas of opportunity lie in the unconventional target consumers for bone support products, which are athletes, fitness enthusiasts, and vegan or vegetarians. According to the research of global market manager Xavier Berger and Gnosis by Lisa Bray, consumers are catching on to the benefits of vitamin K2. The proprietary data from the Innova data database reveals that the new product launches which containing the nutrient increased by almost 60% per year between 2017 and 2020. Dietary supplements, like including tablets, capsules, and gummies, accounted for nearly 75% of the new products. However, the increase is more notable in functional foods and beverages as delivery formats, such as sports nutrition powders, dairy products, and chocolate bars. This shift to more pleasant means of consumption creates an opportunity to reach a broader consumer audience and to grow the vitamin K2 category. However, other exciting breakthroughs are still being investigated, such as the possibility to play a role supporting areas such as lawn and immune health. So anyway, the future of vitamin K2 indeed looks bright on many levels.